you know how there's been this ongoing discussion about why does twitch allow certain streamers to talk crazy about specific groups but not streamers like hassan who has said stuff in the past that comes off as mental derangement or this person i have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers distress thank you so much i will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers u.s military boo fucking who i hope you get ptsd i i do the ones i do i the ones i'm like whatever about the u.s soldiers are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong they didn't know well back they didn't know back then whatever you're you're a good person in my book i'm like a tom thank you so much for the get 10 gifted the, the the u.s military that are like yeah like you know i did this back then but now i know it's wrong like i'm changed like fuck imperialism fuck this you don't deserve the ptsd but like any other motherfucker you're joining them you're like, oh my god i want my fucking camaro no student loans fuck you i hope you get ptsd and i hope you get no health insurance when you get back into fucking america why are we still here just to suffer every night yeah uh saying that you hope that u.s soldiers get ptsd and don't get health insurance got to be up there with the craziest take i've ever heard in all my life making youtube videos i, I get what she's trying to say but she's taking the extremist version of it sure have there historically been some bad soldiers that done some speakable things over overseas and whatnot sure has there also been some military personnel that only wanted to be a soldier for the uh, for the perks of becoming a soldier and not actually wanting to serve their country? Absolutely. But to act like all of them are like that is fucking mental. To act like all of them have to come on and say, oh, down with the imperialist swine that is known as America. Like, they don't have to come home and do that. And as far as the PTSD thing, that's something that's super serious and a lot of these soldiers, they can come home super messed up by the shit they see. Like, we're talking, they see kids, literally kids, get killed, like, as if it's nothing. They see their companions in the battlefield get ripped apart by bullets, by IEDs, and in some cases, forced to watch them get tortured. Of course, they're going to need to go to therapy. It's certain, even when it comes to certain loud noises that they may hear, like say during the 4th of July or a New Year's celebration, it may trigger them because they probably were surrounded by a bunch of gunfire and bombs just being dropped left, right, and center. So naturally, they would get PTSD from some stuff like that. That's very traumatic. That's one reason why I never went into the military at 18 because the older you get, you think about it, and it's like, sure, you could have a lineage of family members that served in the military, but it's like, the mental cost and the physical cost you may not think is worth it for you in a sense where it's like damn you there may be a chance i go over there and i may not even come back the same person either physically or mentally and it's like that could be a scary thing now some people who want to you know risk their whole body and mental on the line they are the ones who deserve every purple heart in the book but to sit there and blatantly say on twitch that Oh, uh, you don't deserve these things when you come home. You don't deserve any health insurance. You deserve to have PTSD. They didn't deserve to witness some fucked up shit. That's why they got PTSD. It's because of the fucked up shit that they seen over there. And a part of me really thinks this is in response to asthma gold being banned. And it, it, it has something to do with that because of what he said about Palestine. And here we are. I'm not sure if it is 100%, but it comes off like it is a response directly to Asthma Gold. Both things that were said between Asthma Gold and her are equally bad. She's not banned because the only reason why she isn't banned is because she's not that big enough of a creator for Twitch to even care. And that's the, that's the sad state of the world we live in when it comes to content creation as a whole. If you're not a big fish, they're not going to care what you do. You can splish and splash all you want to in the water, make all the noise you want. But if you're not making them the most money, you're not bringing them the most bang for their buck, they're not going to care what you say on their platform. And you would think that's a rule that should apply to any and everybody that is a Twitch streamer, just like with YouTube. But it is what it is. But yeah, uh, PTSD is not something to really wish upon anybody. And I think we should be very grateful for the men and women that do 
put their lives on the line to serve this country in times of dire need, especially during war. But y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.